I remember that in assembly uh, on, let's say, a Wednesday morning, there was an announcement saying, we are starting a Robot Wars team. And if you want to be in it, you'd need to submit a design for part of a robot by tomorrow. And everyone else was like, well, that's obviously I'm not going to do that. I was like, Challenge oh, God, when am I going to find the time to do that? Okay, yeah. I go home and do that. And I went home and because I thought I had to be in everything. And I had a book called The Way Things Work. And it told you how like binary code worked. And I basically just copied that out, essentially. And then I handed it in. But then the teacher was like, bloody hell, Joe's like, he's come up with a kind of a code for like how machines can sort of like talk. And I was like, no, I've, I've no, what I've got is I've got a book. Yeah, no, not, not come up <laughs> and, with myself. And so the, basically the story got around that I'd designed a remote control system. <laughs> and basically I hadn't done Did any... you ever correct it? Oh God, no, no, because oh, I was right. in the team. Yeah, that yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. So I was in the team. So basically the team was all, it was all older boys and is this me. It? Is this it? That's it. There you go. It's come through. There it is. Look. Okay, now it looks boring, but that's actually quite a good design because it can be flipped over. There's very little that can go wrong with that. And the, the first series of Robot Wars was really a test of, is your robot going to break down immediately? Yeah. If it doesn't, you're already in like the top 30%, basically. Every single... The, my, main, my main experience of Robot Wars was basically that they'd go, three, two, one, activate. And then it'd cut to some humans with their controls just going yeah and the robot yeah. would just be going <laughs> <laughs> and they were like well some problems and it was funny 